Heavy iron isotopes are leaking from the Earth's core. Breaking news. Heavy iron isotopes are leaking from Earth's core. The paper coming out, iron isotope fractionation at the core mantle boundary by thermodiffusion is stirring up all kinds of trouble in geodynamics. Now, what do I mean by that? Heavy iron isotopes are le leaking from the Earth's core. This is all based on assumptions. Now, the first assumption is, did you know the Earth's inner core is a solid ball made of iron and nickel? There have been no experiments to prove this, but there has been indirect experiments that have proved this. And, and rightfully so, because we have an electromagnetic field, so there has to be some iron involved. Seismoelectromagnetics is a field of the future. And we're determining that electrical impulses and seismoelectromagnetics can be used to predict earthquakes. And here we see an article, Volcano Pressure Rising, Electroquakes, Solar Storm Study. This is from Ben Davidson over at Suspicious Observer News on January 13th. Read the article. And there's also QuakeWatch.net. One of the cutting edge internet sites where you can actually be part of the electroquake prediction. So go get that. But what we're taught as geologists in school, at university, and the model that your children are being taught is right here. That this is what the earth we know looks like. And this is based on seismic studies and other non-direct studies of these deep environments. We've only been able to drill barely through the crust. We can't get down into these layers. So we have no idea what's going on in the Earth. But it's everyone's assumption that the Earth has an iron core, which creates our magnetic field that extends out into a region that we call the magnetosphere, which is waning and may flip. But as early as 2015, a new model suggested that Earth's inner core has an inner core. So what do we really know? What we know is based on satellite observation and the magnetosphere that we can model and witness. And what it shows and what geologic evidence shows is that that magnetosphere moves sometimes rapidly and periodically and causes very bad things to occur on our Earth. And we're living that moment. Now, is the Earth's inner core oscillating and translating anomalously? This is new research coming out today. The inner core is likely composed of a hexagonal, close-packed phase of iron. And... Theoretical mineral physicist approach base on the ab initio method was adopted to determine the viscosity of hexagonal close packed iron and the extreme pressures and temperatures corresponding to the inner core. The results found to deny geophysical observations of large fluctuations in the inner core rotation rate. The obtained viscosity also rules out inner core translation and provide support that the dynamics of the inner core may be governed by solid-state convection. I know, that's, a, that's very verbose. But what they've determined is what we've witnessed. Now, this GIF does not come from made-up stuff. It comes from actual observation. And if you could see the magnetosphere pulsating there, I'm sure you can. It's like pulsating. Then you can understand the study. Is the Earth's inner core oscillating and translating anomalously? Well, based on the data, I would agree. There it is. It's pulsating. Some people think it's flat. But I digress. What I think is that we don't know anything. Now, can you imagine, based on this model here, that we've only been through this upper layer right here? 
We have never sent a drill board down anywhere near here, let alone near here. So it's anyone's guess what's actually happening inside the earth. Anyone's guess. These are all guesses. And they continue to change the model. This is way different than when I went to college. But now there's an inner core and an inner inner core and an outer core. <laughs> but these transitions are not this discreet. What's really going on? Well, according to the research, and it's shocking, but it has nothing to do with black energy <laughs> or dark energy, heavy iron isotopes are leaking from the core. So on the outer core here, we have these heavy isotopes leaking up into the asthenosphere here, the crust mantle boundary. And this is what's triggering those electroquakes. Hmm. But is it coming from a solid and a liquid core? That's a guess. But we're working on it. This is all breaking scientific discovery. Ongoing. And we're reporting it. During a magnetic reversal. So maybe we can glean some evidence on why huge basaltic flows come out in the surface. And what's actually happening beneath the crust, beneath our feet, on the very planet we live on. Albeit, very little movement currently. Hope you got something out of the video. We don't know what's happening in the center of our Earth. But we can make up fairy tales. But we can use those fairy tales to extrapolate what's really happening. QuakeWatch.net, the Earthquake Prediction Center, is using seismoelectromagnetics to explain what the mainstream could never explain without this pathetic jiffy. Be safe. We love you.